I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how the different trigonometric ratios are related. We are given cos theta is 0 0.8 determine cosecant theta. Now whenever we have to find relation between different trigonometric ratios it is good to make right triangle and then see what the relation is. So let us say this is a right triangle and we are given an angle theta here. Now the question is we know cos theta is equals to 0 0.8. I can always write this as 8 over 10. Now this is a particular method which I haven't shared in many videos but this is the best method of solving such questions. Okay, So we are not allowed well, you can use your calculator also, but normally you can do without calculator. At times, calculator is not allowed in the test. So when we are given any decimal values, it is good to write it in fractions because trigonometric ratios are ratios of side lengths. So 0.8 means 8 over 10, which you can simplify and write as 4 over 5. Do you understand? This is one thing. Second part which you understand is what is cos theta? cos theta is adjacent side over hypotenuse. Okay? So that means if I have a right triangle, in that case adjacent side is 4 and hypotenuse is 5. Since it is a ratio, it could be any triangle, but the ratio of adjacent side to hypotenuse is given to you. So you can take one which is the most simplified one. So 8, 10 also works, 4 and 5 will also work. Now, once you know your triangle, you can find the other side using Pythagorean theorem, right? So, how much is this side? This side is square root of 5 square minus 4 square square root. Purposely, I have taken such an easy value. In the test, it could be, let's say, 0 0.7, right? Use your calculator, okay? So, now, so it is equals to square root of 25 minus 16, which you know is 9 and square root of 9 is 3. So we get this side as 3. But anyway, you understand the method, how to find your right triangle. Now, answer the question. We want to know cosecant theta. So cosecant theta is what? Is 1 over sine, right? And sine is what? Sine is opposite side over hypotenuse. So we write opposite over hypotenuse or we can write it there, correct? So from here, hypotenuse is 5 and side opposite to theta is 3. So that is how you get your answer. So we say cosecant theta is equals to 5 over 3. So that is how you should be getting the answer very easily. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.